I'm ready. So what's uh, what's Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the, the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of breaths, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you. I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song and song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, he lost the war, so he ended up here in Abaddon, aka hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become, like, a hall monitor. Gotcha! He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. You, um, you ever met him? Uh, you're gonna meet him in like 10 minutes, Lola. Do you really think I haven't met him yet? That's okay, not fair. saying yes. Yes, I've met the devil, okay? We know each other. Well? Uh, as well as anyone, I guess. As well as any fairy man, anyway. You sound awfully cagey! You sound awfully cagey here, Sam. I feel like I'm talking to my cousin about her trip to Jamaica with Raul. Yeah, what's going on? I'm taking you to where the devil lives, Milo. That's what's going on. I was actually asking about Vicky. Did she? You don't think she slept with Raul, do you? I mean, she's too short for her. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. I'm excited to meet Satan! What? This is BS. Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. I'm not waiting in a line. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. Uh. I'm usually just cleaning up puke, so. Okay. Do I talk to any of these people down here? No? Okay. You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties. Like, I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. We're gonna cut. No, there's, there has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. Is this the foundation of uh, a house or something? I, I thought only Satan lived here. Well, yeah, now, but back in the day, this place used to be the fucking Grover's Corners in nowhere. Sounds yeah, important. it wasn't just Satan. His fallen angel pals and him used to have the whole block. Why'd they move? Eh, some folks just like switching up the zip code every thousand years. Who knows? Fair enough. This is the line to get into Satan's party, right? None other. Uh, where's your sleeping bag and coffee pot? Hold it, come on. Guys, there's gotta be some faster way. Haven't any of you seen Adventures in Babysitting? If a bunch of white fourth graders can get into a jazz club... There's a faster way, definitely. <laughs> you see people cut through every night. Some people. Like us! Let's just keep on. Maybe we can convince whoever's at the door to let us in. I mean, we don't even want to, like, party. We just want to outdrink Satan. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll take like 10 minutes. An elevator? All right, let's try it. All right, let's do it. Um, hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, is this safe? Heights kind of give me a little anxiety. Oh, I'm very safe. My last inspection and renewed certification was three months ago by one Misha Vasily. And she would know better than anyone being here on account of shoving three different people down elevator shafts. Oh. Just let me know when you want to go up one. I like that he's elevator demon number one. I have nowhere else to go. All right, well, let's go. Watch your, your knees there. Okay. All in. Great. Why, why are we taking this? Oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. 
second floor, dish mops, hand towels, and segregated washrooms. Just kidding. This obviously isn't a department store from the 40s. You're in hell. I love quesadillas. All right, well, let's move forward, I guess. Why did he let us cut? What time is it? A half hour after you asked me the last time. I mean, how long have we been standing here, jackass? Standing in line or standing in this exact spot? Pick one. Uh, this exact spot? Yeah, something like two days. And how long in line? I don't know. I remember people were really excited about faxing things. Hey, fax my ass! God, I don't miss the 80s. Oh, God. Or ruins. You know, I'm surprised the devil would let anybody live on his property. You'd think he'd want Zanzibar all for himself. Oh, no. Quite the contrary. From what I've heard, Satan's a real people person, you know? Yeah, but didn't him and his friends have some kind of falling out? Maybe they just got sick of the line. Okay, fair enough. Another elevator! I was wondering why there's no six second video platform down here. I found out that unfortunately Divine is heaven. Exclusive. Hi, oh, I'd exclusivity. like to- Yes, I'm perfectly safe. We all get inspected every 90 days. Do you think demons can only hold jobs they're unqualified for? What? Yes. No. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, sorry, but are you, are you, aren't you the exact same demon on the first floor? I'm Fenio, the second floor carriage. Ah, oh, different, different name. Okay, we'd like to uh, go up, please. Hop aboard, Slim Jims. Two I feel up, like I just got insulted closing. and I'm not smart enough to know why. Oh, all right. I take, take it, take it easy. I can't control the weather patterns, ma'am. And turbulence accounts for only two percent of falls. Third floor. Everybody out. I'm I'm glad I get to do all this cutting. Is this another elevator over here, or is that just like a torture cage or something? Okay. Hello. Hey. So this Ferris wheel for my nightmares looks like it's seen better days. Maybe turning the island into a horrifying amusement park scared Satan's neighbors away? Nah, I used to die for this shit. Then why'd they move? What was the falling out? As long as it keeps the foot traffic away. Don't know, don't care. Okay. Another elevator. A am I, is this, is this the way up? Hey, yeah. Uh can we, uh... First of all, I'm not the same demon. I know you motherfuckers all think we look alike, but I'm Spandrel, the third floor carriage. No, 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 we... Fair enough. We don't... And second, yeah, I've been inspected, honey. What, you want to check my ass for tags, check my balls, see if I've been fixed? <laughs> okay, we, we're getting a little in the weeds here. I, um, we're sorry, okay, we're just, just trying to get to Satan's house. Oh, it's all right. It's just this is my shit. I'm unloading on you. Don't don't worry about it. <sighs> it's been a long night. Watch your shit. Don't drop it through the cage. I'm not diving down to get it. Underworld problems. Oh, why didn't Satan just make more stairs? Cause Satan likes to keep demons employed. That's why. Fourth floor. Get the fuck out. Wow. All right. Well, let's go. Is this line with it all? Look, it's a it's a bit of a messy line. People just don't know how to queue. Uh, ha hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Want to go up? Great, great. That's yes. Thank you. Well, he was nice. Your uh, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Fifth floor, the Timothy Top. Zabulba, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! Zabulba is the name of a star. Uh oh. Screamless. Forgot my extra soy sauce. Again, I'm switching to Grub Hubs for good. Better service and way juicier grubs. Nothing over here? Alright. Just the fire. Gotcha. Am I, am I, I feel like I'm missing something. Am I supposed to do anything with anybody? Do I, do I do anything? Oh, what's this? There's a map. Leth. 
This is the lake in hell that you drink from to forget your life, your past life, so you can move on and be reincarnated. River of fire. Oh my god, I gotta feed? Photos? I can take photos? Oh god. Alright, let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? Ah, uh, you're gonna let me cut, right? Oh shit, Jerry, I, I mean Terry. Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, sorry, but what's... what's Bicker? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone, it comes pre-installed. There, <laughs> see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, yeah, uh, what's the commercial say? They're all hating on me! user specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Or to just post pictures of your pets lying in sunlight. Uh, those posts aren't about us, right? I mean, there's probably another Milo and Lola here. No, it's about you. You rarely see posts not about you. It's pretty user-focused. I mean, uh, what's the point of social media if it's not a mirror reflecting your every insecurity? Oh, God. Hey, it's Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Get us in! Are you coming? Oh, wait. You can't. Um, hey, can we- can we go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. Uh, can we just go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. Wow! Laugh at them, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Who are even those people? Look, screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Alright, I guess that means come here. What's going on? Anybody want to go to Satan's party tonight? One spare VIP ticket if you help me catch somebody. First come, first serve. Hey, Torps, I got an extra invite to Luke's house. Uh, Luke's house jam for anyone who wants to get your old pal Linda a margarita. My go-to karaoke song was Informer. What's yours? A licky boom boom dow. They really think of everything. Even that showers uh, don't get hotter than soup. It's been out for 50 minutes. All right. Um. Can I can I do anything? Well, I don't know what to do with any of that though. Okay, Let me in. Okay, cool. Look here. There's. Uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. Uh, whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's. There's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This will be downright easy. Awesome. Let's get back to Sam and track down these fools. Uh. Do I. Can I fast travel? Is that what it's telling me? Uh, back. Get an invite from a demon named Fella. Fela. Oops. All right, and there's the other one. Okay, so I think I just gotta go back down to the bottom and have her take us to one of these places, I'm guessing. Let's go over here first. Or not. All right, well, let's let's go inside. Is this the, uh, the VIP entrance? What gave it away? Was it the everything? <laughs> Move to the side if you don't have passes. All we want to do is talk to Satan. That is it. Bada bing, bada boom. It'll be like we were never standing here bothering you. It's going to really feel like you were never standing here bothering me when you leave and I forget you exist. <sighs> okay. Looks like those guys weren't kidding. I think we need to get an invite. You do. Yep. We should regroup with Sam, figure out our next step. This is a dead end. It is. All right. Quiet, are you? All right. Will you take us down to the bottom, Mr. Elevator? Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Um. Why would I want to go a floor at a time? Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Check your ankles, wallet chains, uh, purses. Okay. Okay. I love this home. 
Ugh, my feet are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know? What? Well, your feet are sore? You're not the one wearing heels. It just... it gives you a little oomph. I like it when you're taller than me. I'm just saying, heel boots for a guy isn't the best anniversary present. It's the equivalent of giving a woman the number to a plastic surgeon. I love you, honey, but what I'd really love is for you to have bigger tits. <laughs> it's not exactly the same thing. Okay, good to know. Taxi! So wait, where am I going first? Um... Bobolin Park? Or Little... Whatever that says. Rentalia. Yeah, that sounds good to me. We'll go there. So, call party out? Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. Uh... Hey, Sam, you could have warned us about the eternal line to get in. I heard someone talking about the fucking Joe Law Empire. That shit hasn't been around for like 500 years. Oh, we have a plan, though. There's... Some people have invites, and some people have... Uh, have spares, so... so... you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobolin Park. He says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we know so... it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done. So... Ah, classic case of too many good ideas. It's like 30 years more all over again. Guess you got some picking to do. Let's do this one. Go. Well, let's try Linda first. Right. I know it sounds too easy, but maybe it is. Probably oh, I just not. Want on the record, that this is a trap, okay? A trap of inconvenience. You're not like crazy fans of Linda, right? Because she's not too big into autographs or meeting people. Why would we be fans? Did she like murder a, a deposed baby king or something? She used to be the lead singer of that witchy witch band, Mercury Worm, back in the 70s. So she's famous, right? Yeah, but just, you know, be be cool. And don't bring up her old band. What happened with her old band? Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. Wow, breaking the what fourth wall! What mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? Next up, Little Rontalia. I'm ready for this. Uh, hey, so speaking of, like, uh, music, <laughs> was any of that stuff about playing records in reverse to hear satanic messages? Was it real? Oh, yeah. And not just records. TV shows, commercials. You know bus stops have those automated recordings? Play them backwards and you'll hear Satan whispering Chinese nuclear codes. Oh. But Lucifer and rock stars have a real history, it's true. Something about needing to, to scream your ego out into the conjectural void is really attractive to unhallowed spirits, I guess. But music, the creative arts, has always been a thing for things. Slavery let the self-possessed invent crap like trumpets, and it's hard to really break from that lineage, you know? Anyways, we're almost there. Don't let on that you know Linda. She's kind of embarrassed about her solo album, Helicopter Fuckhouse. The, um, the whole satanic lyrics and stuff, it's its funny because it's true. People thought that, and what's even worse is it wasn't even all that long ago that people, like, actually believed that. Okay, we're talking Little like the Rontalia. 90s. Here we are, one of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, a carrot juice bar just opened up on the other side of town, and, uh, oh, the dirty hurdy gurdies just down the road there. That's where Linda said she wants that drink, right? Yep. Okay, kids, text me if you need a ride. Have fun at music camp. <laughs> 